Hello, my name is Wilson Rodriguez, and I will be going over a MATLAB tutorial on uh, how to model oxygen diffusion through uh, a tissue engineered uh, cartilage construct where uh, cells were cultured. Um, so let's head on right over to the MATLAB code. Um, so it's always good to uh, start all of your MATLAB code with uh, this line here close all, clear all, and CLC. This will clear up your workspace and any work that had been done in the command window. The next thing I did was uh, I was I uh, defined my variables, and here here's uh, my time, and I made time a, a variable that requests user input. So I did that by using the input function here, and then prompting the user with uh, with this uh, string. Then I did the same thing for the diffusion coefficient and I prompted the user in the same way. I then defined my uh, my concentration at the surface which is in percent so uh, so oxygen percent uh, in the paper was 21 21 percent at the surface um, and then we're looking for where the concentration becomes zero so what at what depth into the construct uh, is uh, concentration zero. Uh, I also have a um, an operator that will be uh, looking into the Y array. So I've already pre-allocated space in the, the variable Y here um, with 2,000 um, uh, with 2,000 spots, um, and I will I is just going to be used to cycle through the the array. Um, here I have the oxygen consumption rate by the cells. And uh, I, I predefine it here, but it changes throughout the uh, script um, in the for loop. So if we go into the for loop, the for loop condition is that as long as x remains between 0 and uh, 2,000 micrometers, it's going to continue the loop and uh, run run the function until, until this condition is false, at which point it'll exit the for loop and then continue on with the rest of the code. Um, in the for loop itself, I have an if statement uh, because uh, cell density was uh, uh, decreased as uh, as depth uh, was increased in the uh, construct. So uh, here I have if uh, x is less than 400 micrometers, uh, it's it has this value. If it's between 400 and 800, if it's between 800 and 12,000, and then if it's just more than 12,000, and that's just done with a simple else and not an else if. So once the oxygen consumption rate is uh, selected, uh, you plug it or you go straight into the equation, which I uh, defined and derived in the uh, summary paper. Um, and I starts off as one, if you recall, and it'll plug into the first uh, slot in the array. It'll solve for my concentration at that uh, at that time and depth and uh, with the diffusion coefficient that we inputted and it'll solve the concentration there at that spot with the oxygen consumption rate and then I will increase by one so then it'll be two when the for loop cycles again uh, checks its uh, checks to see what uh, the oxygen consumption rate should be and, and jumps back in to solve the equation again it will have it will be plugging in the answer into the second slot and then it'll repeat uh, the process until all of the y value is filled. Um, then it'll exit the for loop and then it'll plot our function and I gave uh, the graph x and y limits and then gave it a title x and y labels to make it look pretty. Let's go ahead and run this. So over here on this side of the window, yeah, it asks, it's asking us to uh, select a time. I'm going to select 28 minutes. I'm going to use the coefficient from the paper. And there we go. These are our results. Uh, as we can see, uh, it, the concentration starts at 21% and then drops down as the oxygen is, con is consumed. Um, the oxygen isn't able to diffuse through to the, uh, to the rest of the, the construct. But let's see. Uh, if we increase the time, is there any difference? Okay, and so here it is. Uh, we start off at 21 again. Oxygen has been able to diffuse into uh, and penetrate uh, larger depths, but it is still being consumed, so we, we still get this nice uh, diffusion. Okay, and so that was it. Uh, that's my uh, tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it.